Wood chips are, you know, one of the most common mulches in gardening. They're free, abundant, and really effective at holding back weeds while protecting the soil beneath. But the biggest question gardeners ask is simple. When do wood chips actually become soil? How long does it take for those golden fibrous chips to break down into the dark, crumbly humus that plants thrive in? The answer isn't as straightforward as a single number of months or years, because the process depends on biology, mainly fungi, and how you manage the decomposition. Today we'll walk through the entire timeline, from fresh chips to fungal takeover, and reveal what you can do to speed the process or work with it effectively. Freshwood chips start with a carbon overload. When you first lay down wood chips, they're mostly carbon locked into lignin and cellulose. These are tough compounds that bacteria just can't break down quickly. This is why, if you mix raw chips directly into your soil, plants may suffer from nitrogen tie-up. The microbes working on those chips will steal nitrogen from the soil's surface to fuel their work, leaving your plants deficient. In this early stage, wood chips are best used on top of the soil as mulch. They protect the soil, moderate temperature swings and reduce evaporation, but they are far from becoming humus. If left undisturbed, you'll see the first signs of decomposition within 6 to 12 months. Unlike soft green waste, wood doesn't break down primarily through bacteria. It's fungi that move in first, sending out white threads called hyphae. These threads release enzymes capable of unlocking lignin, something bacteria cannot do. If you pull back your chips after about a year, you'll often see the beginnings of this fungal webbing. This stage is critical because it signals that decomposition has shifted gears. Worms and other soil creatures typically follow the fungi, feeding on the softer organic matter as the chips slowly break down. The more moisture and airflow available, the faster fungi colonize, meaning chips in damp shaded beds break down far quicker than those left in dry sunny paths. By the second year, especially if you've applied chips in a layer two to three inches thick, the bottom layer will begin to darken and soften. The fungal takeover continues, and you'll start noticing the lower layers mixing with soil to form a moist, rich blend. Worms will pull softened fibres into their burrows, speeding the transition. By year three, much of the original texture is gone in the lower levels, replaced with a soil-like material. This is not yet finished humus, but it's fertile, well-structured and highly beneficial to raised beds or orchard soil. For chips left in place without turning or mixing, the full breakdown into humus may take, well, four to five years. At this stage, the chips are no longer recognisable. What's left is dark, crumbly material full of stable organic matter that resists further decomposition. This humus acts like a sponge, holding water and nutrients while supporting a thriving microbial ecosystem. It's really the gold standard for long-term fertility. Patience is key here, because while faster decomposition is possible, true humus requires time. While a natural timeline might run three to five years, gardeners can speed things up by managing conditions. Mixing nitrogen-rich material, such as grass clippings, manure, or green leaves with chips, creates a more balanced composting process. A ratio of about four parts wood chips to one part nitrogen material is a reliable starting point. Turning the pile every few months also introduces oxygen, which fungi and bacteria both need. With these steps, wood chips can transform into usable compost in as little as 12 to 18 months, though humus stability will still improve with more time. How you apply wood chips makes a difference in their decomposition. As a surface mulch, decomposition is slower, but the benefits are immediate in terms of weed suppression, moisture retention, and soil temperature regulation. In this role, you can reapply new layers each year, allowing the older material to break down gradually beneath. In pathways where chips are applied thickly and compacted by foot traffic, decomposition slows dramatically sometimes lasting over five years before visible soil forms. 
in compost piles or trenching systems, where chips are mixed with nitrogen and moisture is consistent, the process is far faster. The real waiting game with wood chips is understanding whether you're looking for short-term mulch benefits or long-term soil building. If your goal is weed control and moisture conservation, fresh chips can be laid directly on the soil surface and will begin providing benefits immediately. If your goal is creating humus, be prepared for at least two to three years before you see significant soil formation and longer if you do nothing to manage the process. For those who want results sooner, actively composting chips with nitrogen-rich materials, moisture and regular turning is the proven path. So, how long until wood chips actually become soil? The honest answer ranges from two to five years, depending on how you use them and whether you manage their breakdown. Fungi drive the process, slowly unlocking carbon and leaving behind humus that transforms your garden for decades to come. Fresh chips offer immediate mulching benefits, but the black gold every gardener craves takes patience or smart management to achieve faster. If this guide helped you understand the real timeline of wood chips and soil, subscribe to Soil Doctor and share this with gardeners who are ready to play the long game of building living soil. The soil doesn't lie, and neither does time. Work with both, and your garden will never be the same.